I set seven are named right now about, and five of the seven have gone with their names. Alligators have a cerebral cortex, so they are, even though they have a brain size of a walnut, they are capable of recording your names. Watch out, for some reason, too. Shape, rec shape and color recognition. Um, an American alligator in India actually, the Indian researcher wanted to experiment with how intelligent they are and how quickly they could learn. He decided he wanted to teach them a behavior that was unusual to, unnatural to their normal behavior. So he decided to teach this alligator to ring a bell. It took 38 minutes to teach this alligator to use its head to ring the bell for a food reward consistently. So there is a lot more going on. What Drew is doing right now is he's gently touching him on the head. If you look at the bottom of their jaws, and I'm trying to see who you can get a good look at. If you look right here, I'm not quite sure who this one is. But see all the black spots on the lower jaw? Those are all nerve receptors. You can see on some of the ones, the black dots. They have them on their upper jaw too, but they're really prevalent on the lower jaw. And those are actually more sensitive than our fingertips. So he doesn't have to touch him, Dennis hard on the jaw to normally get Dennis, Dennis is special. He really is special. <laughs> Stubborn. <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> As I said, was telling them, Dennis is the one. Well, everybody in this group was getting along very well until Dennis came into the group. <laughs> Dennis challenged Mork to be the biggest gator. Uh, Dennis is nowhere near the biggest gator. <laughs> After a couple times in Mork's mouth, he seemed to quit challenging Mork. But somehow or another, now the challenge has gone between Mork and Zilla, who is here. I'm still looking for more. More stuff back in okay. the, That's why back I don't in the corner. Okay. So now the main um, tension is between Mork and Zilla. And Mork is actually, at one point, they actually had two coalitions. A couple were siding with Zilla, too. But because of the fact that Zilla lost, Mork's coalition has kind of won. So now if... Mork even sees Zilla getting attention. He will be over there and checking to see what's going on with his cohort. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Okay, I suspect Mork can That was Mork. Okay. <laughs> training right now, especially in reptile department. We're having a blast. Um, we're also, you know, enjoying learning about their intelligence and enjoying talking to you guys about it. And that is Claude Bella. Who knows the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Can you see, baby? I get them all. Can you take the shape of their nose? You want to get my whole thing? I don't know the difference between you two. Okay, what? Can you see okay? If you look, would you say these guys are U's or V's? If you look at them, U? U's. These guys are U's. Crocodiles are more V's. Now, also, Drew would not be doing this right now if these were crocodiles. On, he Annie. would not be in there with 14 crocodiles um, for Annie. safety reasons. For, um, crocodiles on, are more aggressive. On, um, they're also much more intelligent. Um, training, of course, can be done with crocodiles. Like I said, if you can teach an alligator to bring a in 38 minutes, imagine what you can do with a crocodile. And uh, Sohan Mukharji. Who is doing the one doing the alligator training? Is doing amazing stuff with crocodilian training, and we do have a crocodile on property now, which we're starting to work with, but it's not on display yet. Um, Mork is our biggest, and he's about on, ten foot, two hundred and fifty pounds. And Zilla here is the second largest. And you notice that Zilla's sitting over there just pretending to be invisible because he doesn't want to bring any attention to himself right now so that he, Mark doesn't 
Okay. Beat him up. So we will be making sure that Zilla does get his food. Okay. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Nick is one of our smaller ones, or maybe the smallest, and he tends to swim with his eyes closed. <laughs> Even if Drew isn't, Drew or Brandon well, are in the water. Well, which means that Mark can actually swim up to the front into them. Is the green side their mouth pretty common? No, what is, uh, we used a green uh, dye to kill the algae and the, or one of our staff people used green algae killer dye stuff to kill the algae. But it also um, turned, turned their mouths <laughs> and fingernails green. Now, of course, um, if anybody's willing, maybe they can look and see if we have any more cavities. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we can check to see if they've been brushing their teeth properly. But actually, what we hope to do at the end of the season when we bring everybody in is color uh, uh, paint, paint toenails so that we can differentiate those that are a little more difficult to tell apart. Lord. It's pretty easy to tell. No more, of course, because of his size, and he has some scars right now that are showing, um, that show him apart. Dennis usually has his eyes wide open, and is usually sitting here waiting even when food is here. He's also, if there's trouble, Dennis is usually somewhere in the middle of it. Um, Annie has a Annie. different... It's her right eye that's different, isn't it? Her right, yeah. One okay, so you can't really see it right now, but she's got kind of a defect on her right eye. But she's pretty good. I can't tell Linda apart. Linda and Gary are very tough because they're about the same size. Linda's here, and Gary's over here. Okay. But so those are some of our star pupils that do actually respond when their names are called. Come on, Dennis. 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 So do you guys have any other questions? Come on. Come on, Dennis. So they learn to Come recognize on. their name. Yes. Yeah. They have a cerebral cortex, so even though they have a brain inside their helmet, they are capable of learning their names. They're capable of color and different. And an American alligator was trained by an Indian researcher at the Madras Crocodile Bay. He was one of the experts in crocodile eating training. He trained, he wanted to get out of the alligator. Are they alive? So he decided to ring a bell. So he uses your head to ring a bell. It took 38 minutes to ring a bell. He consistently now rings the bell for food. So, no, there is, this is Annie right here. I want to see the alligator. <laughs> Do you look for specific patterns on them to tell them apart? Oh, that's yeah, yeah, that's 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 hers is the eye. Um, Dennis has always got his eyes wide open and he's always popping and popping. <laughs> oh, where's Zilla go? Okay, Zilla's in the wa actually in the water at the moment. Yeah. Zilla's been kind of in time now because he's been chastised, no, one, but he's our second largest, very close. Close to no, the same no, size as yes. Mark, yeah. which is why we're having these omelets and that's small. I think Zilla is hungry, um, but we're trying to kind of feed Zilla a little bit separately so he doesn't get his butt kicked again by Mark. So he's sitting over here patiently, hoping that none of the other gators notice him. Mark, one more, one more, one more. Did I hear you say that one of the names was Annie? Yes. Which one is that? Annie's sitting right here. Oh, Annie, there's your namesake right there. <laughs> oh, are you wearing Annie too? Oh, it's always fun when we have a namesake. Yeah. And Annie is one of our smarter gators, so. Oh. <laughs> and she doesn't cause problems. She was actually kind of hand-holding with Mark the other day. It was very cute. Uh -huh. Here, Annie, turn around, Daddy, get a picture of you with Annie. Annie and Annie. Now you guys get uh, frozen rats. Well, no, if they're in too small in the closure, it could cause the 